Hey, I'm Nicole, and I want to talk to you guys for a few minutes about this month's great big idea of individuality. So why don't you repeat the definition after me? Individuality is discovering who you are meant to be so you can make a difference. When we use our gifts together, we can make a greater wait, difference. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Excuse I, me? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm... I'm late, but I'm here to help you now. So let's just get this show on the, on the road, okay? Uh, who are you? Oh, my name is Professor Pontificate. Professor Pontificate. Mm -hmm. I was unaware that you were going to be helping me today. What is it yeah, well, that okay. you're a professor of exactly? The good thing exactly? is, is I have, I've got this prepared for you so that you don't have to even think about anything. You just read that. Okay, well, I'll just yeah. read this. Very well. Then. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, he is the greatest scientist of the 21st century, the most incredible mathematician mind of our age. Knowledge, creativity, biology, and science are his specialties. And I'm a, a, an avid fan of uh, So You Think You Can Dance. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Pontificate. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're too kind. Man. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Well, we're glad you're here with us. There's no need for the big hubbub, Bob. I'm, I'm just here to, just to help you. Well, that'll be great. But first, let me go ahead and pick up where I left off. Oh, yes, of course, of, of course. And I'll stand up right here and be as quiet as a little ferret. Anyway, let me catch you up, Professor, about what we're learning about today. Today we're learning about individuality. Why don't you repeat the definition after me? Okay. Individuality. Individuality. Is discovering who you are meant to be. Is discovering who you are meant to be. So you can make a difference. So you can make a difference. Ooh, discovering, I love that. Well, with you being a professor of science, today's subject should be something that's very familiar to you. Mm. We are going to talk about the body. The body works together to make things happen. The feet and legs help the entire body move from place to place. The nose helps the body know what is good and sometimes not so good mm. to eat. The eyes help us to keep from walking into things. Our ears help us to understand what our teachers are asking us to do. And the mouth helps us communicate with others. The hands help us to eat the food that we need for the entire body. <clears throat> and uh, sometimes uh, people just want to talk to the hand. Don't watch me, Nene. <laughs> in other words, we have many parts in the body, and every one of them is important and helps us live a better life. It's true. The, the body has many parts working to together uh, to help us do things that we don't even think about. For instance, your nose and your feet are interchangeable because they both smell. <laughs> no, nose and feet smell, huh? <laughs> oh, now, uh, I've put together a little demonstration today and to show you what I mean. A demonstration? Eh, yeah, don't don't worry, it's very simple. I'll, I'll, need your, I'll need your help with this. Now, are you familiar with the game called Operation? Good, good, very good. Well, we are going to play the get that game a little differently today. Could my assistant bring out my other assistant, please? Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Now, this is Siegfried, and he's a very important part of our demonstration. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, talking about parts and. I said Siegfried was a very important part. Get it? Part? Tough crowd. You, my friend, will be playing the operation game. I will be singing a song about body parts, pointing to them on Siegfried. And whenever I mention a part, you take that part out of the game board. My lab coat is fitted with electric sensors, and if, and if you touch the sides on the game board, I will receive a small teensy-weensy harmless electric shock on that part of my body. No, I don't want to do that. No, no, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's harmless, and I trust you. Besides, we must show how the parts of the body work together. Okay, I guess. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. 
The toe bone's connected to the, the foot bone. The foot bone's connected to the ankle bone. The ankle bone's connected to the leg bone. Now shank the scarecrow bones. Very, very good, my friend. Oh, let's continue. The leg bone's connected to the... Uh, Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, you shot me in my, uh, my backside there. Sorry. It's okay. I'll try better. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I barely even felt it. Keep going. The knee bone's connected to... Uh, Sorry. Okay, okay I, didn't, I didn't even say the other part yet. <laughs> it's... Just keep going and, and calm down. You're uh, you're shaking like my little chihuahua on caffeine. Oh, okay, here we go. The thigh bone. Oh, oh, oh. I can't get it. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Okay, well, I I think I think we're done. Okay, I I think we're done. I'm just so nervous. It's okay, my shaky little friend. I'll I'll be all right. I just have to be strong for the people out there and, and for Siegfried. Okay, you go ahead and finish the, the speakings and uh, Siegfried and I will just, we'll just go, go over here and twitch a little more. Okay. Well, thank you very much for helping us today. Hey, everybody give a big hand for the professor. <laughs> that was really something, wasn't it? Like I said before, every one of the parts of the body has an individual task that helps the entire body. Every part has a job to do, and they all work together to make a difference in the body. We are kind of like that too. When we discover who we're meant to be, and we know what we're good at, we can start making a difference in all kinds of ways. Not everyone can be the leading scorer on your basketball team, but it still takes five people to make the team successful. Maybe you're gifted at playing defense. Well, your talent can help the team win games. Perhaps you're a great helper in your classroom. You can use that skill to help your teacher keep a very neat and clean classroom. Maybe you're great at math. Perhaps you can help others in your classroom understand a difficult math problem better. When we use our individuality together, we can make a greater difference. Uh, I better find out what's going on with the professor. We'll see you next month.